Hey YouTube, how's it going? And welcome to tutorial number 43. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys how to use the select element, also known as the drop down list. So, uh, what we might as well do now is just start off with a heading over here just to tell the user what to do. So, h3 and h3, and uh, let's just tell them to select their favorite rugby team. So, select your favorite rugby to your typing slow. Cool. And uh, if you're American, you probably saw that and you're like, okay, you spelled favorite wrong. And uh, no, I didn't. That's how we spell favorite over here. So burn. And uh, now what we can do is uh, start off with our select tag. So like I said, it was a select element. So we open up the select element and then we can close it off. And there we go. We now have a select list on our page. But if you run this in Firefox right now, our select element is empty. There's no options there. So you're just going to get like a blank list, and that's not really good for anything. Uh, so let's just go ahead and take a look at that. One day when Firefox decides to open, it's like crashing. There we go. Cool. So we have our little select element here, but there's nothing there. And uh, the reason why there's nothing there is because we still have to put some options there. So let's go ahead and uh, add in an option. Sorry. Option. And then you end off the option. So ending option. And whatever we type in here is what appears in the select list. So let's go ahead and we'll say Bulls. Okay, because that is pretty much like the best rugby team in South Africa at the moment and we might as well just give our select list a name over here it's always good to name everything inside of your form so we'll just say name equals teams and then the other thing we have to do is we have to give our option a value because when we want to use javascript or php or something later on to determine which item is selected then uh, or which option is selected inside of our list then we need to know what the value is so let's just go ahead and bulls and then the next one can be control C, control V and we'll probably go ahead and put four here so the next one can be stormers because a lot of people really like the stormers and stormers stormers and then the next one can be sharks because there are a lot of people that really like the sharks team <laughs> sharks and then the last one can be cheetahs and that's just because these are like the four most popular teams not to like down anyone who's a supporter of any of the other teams but these are like the four most popular teams in South Africa so there we go go ahead and save that and now when we go back to Firefox you can see we're gonna get a whole bunch of items or options now in our list so go ahead and click refresh and now we've got bulls as the selected option or default selected option just because it's first on the list and then we've got stormers, sharks, and cheetahs. So there we go. That's how to make a select list. But right now, bulls is the selected option just because it's the first option. But let's say the most popular team was something like uh, the cheetahs. And not that it is. But <laughs> let's go ahead and say that the most popular team is the cheetahs. Then we might want the cheetahs to be selected first all the time so let's just go ahead and say selected equals selected and what this attribute does is it basically just means that cheetahs is going to be selected first by default no matter what and uh, let's go ahead and save that and um, this probably isn't going to work 
So uh, <laughs> because Bulls is already selected, what I have to do is actually just run this in Firefox again. And there we go, now Cheetahs is selected first. So no matter what happens, every time a user comes to the page, Cheetahs is always the default selected option, unless we move this attribute somewhere else. So that's what uh, that attribute does. And I actually have another two attributes that I want to talk to you guys about, and they actually go up here in the top select uh, element and basically what the first one is is multiple and I'll tell you what this does in a second just uh, if I can spell multiple right there we go multiple and what multiple does is it just means that instead of having one item showing or one option showing at a time you can have multiple options but when we do that we also have to include an attribute called size and we can set this equal to 6 for now so let's go ahead and click save and as you can see we've only got four options here so we're going to land up with a little bit of extra white space underneath our option but let's go ahead and click refresh and as you can see we've now got a select list with four options but it's got a size of 6 so there is another space for two more options underneath here and if we go ahead and we change this option to or we change the size to 2 then we can go back to Firefox click refresh and now you can see we've got only two options showing but we can actually scroll up and down to view all of the options in the list so there we go that's what select what the select element does and how to use it and uh, thanks for watching guys and if you watch the next tutorial we're going to be talking about text areas so get psyched and i will see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment and if you found this video helpful then please go ahead and click like because it's really going to help my channel grow so thank you very much and i'll see you guys next time